Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to talk to you about how to make this cool sculpture project called 3D Faces. It's designed for grades 5 through 6. Here are the learning objectives. Students will use forms so they can make a three-dimensional portrait. It could be a self-portrait or a famous or imaginary person. Students will use proportion so they can locate the features of the face, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth, on the head in the appropriate location. Students will use collage so they can create hair, clothing, and accessories for their portraits. These are the 2019 3D face projects. You can see that they turned out amazing. These are the materials that you'll need. 12 by 18 inch background paper. You can see in my self portrait in the upper right corner, I used a bright green background paper. 12 by 18 skin tone paper cut in half. So you'll use half of it, nine by 12 for the face. And the other nine by 12 piece, you'll cut up into di uh, different shapes and sizes to make the neck, ears, nose, etc. Now you'll notice that I have put uh, a picture of multicultural construction paper on the slide and I do buy this and use it in my classrooms because I think it's really cool that this is an, a resource available for us um, paper that reflects all sorts of different skin tones. Now you could also use um, have like blue skin or yellow skin or green skin so it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a real skin tone and it doesn't have to be your skin tone or your student's skin tone it could be a friend or um, a famous person then uh, three and a half by 12 inch scrapbook paper or construction paper for clothes and it could be different dimensions in my example I just put a three and a half by twelve strip on the bottom that um, makes the shirt but um, you'll see in some future examples that I'll show you that people used uh, made the clothing in all sorts of different ways and miscellaneous paper for hair eyebrows eyes lips jewelry accessories etc so you can see in my example that the hair is uh, separate pieces of paper um, the eyebrows are um, different pieces of paper both of the eyes the nose the lips are all different pieces of paper that are glued on to the face and I did give myself a, a necklace with a jewel on it and I used marker um, to put the jewel the facets on the the jewel markers or colored pencils for the eyes or other details chalk pastel for the cheeks and you can see on uh, my project that I did put pink um, on my cheeks and a little bit of pink on my chin resources that I have for you is a proportion handout um, proportions of the face and one of the things that a lot of people get wrong is the position of the eyes. The eyes are actually right in the middle of the head. A lot of people put the eyes way up in the forehead which looks kind of uh, strange and um, the reason that it might look a little weird to have the eyes in the middle of the head is because we're not used to seeing necessarily a bald head and a portion of the top of the head will have hair on it so a lot of times when once you add the hair then the eyes look more in the position that they're supposed to be you'll notice that the nose is about halfway between the eyes and the chin and then the mouth is in the bottom third of the face down there. I also included um, a handout for the eyes, ears, and lips. So when you're drawing your eyes um, or cutting them out of construction paper and then drawing on top of the construction paper, you can uh, look at that. So um, I adapted this project from this video that I found from one of my favorite webs websites called uh, crocotac.com 
And um, please note that in the video, the person is making their project about half of the size of ours. So our project is um, larger. And so go back to the slide that has the materials listed on it and you'll see for example, the background is 12 by 18. And there is a link to the video. And this is the video um, right here. It's a nice, simple, kind of fast. Um, I, I love the Croc Attack videos. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you is um, some of these pictures that I took from last year to kind of just show you some of the possibilities. So um, you can see various ways that people did hair. So we have um, green hair, we have really long hair that's, that's just pleated paper. We have some people that kind of curled the hair or, or cut the hair to make a uh, fringe. Um, you'll notice that a few of these do have the eyes placed really far up in the head, like on the forehead. So um, we want to try to um, get that part right and move those eyes down um, where they belong in the middle of the face. I really like um, this one here, the sleeping person that has the little fringes for the eyelashes. I love this crumpled hair um, up in the, the bun and kind of the accordion folded hair here. You can see that um, this is Cinderella, I think. So a Disney character. And I love the, the chain on this because it's um, a paper chain that all of us made when we were kids. And also the sunglasses are pretty cute. So a few more buns, different hairstyles. And you'll notice that there are different types of clothing. So this one has a pocket. This person has um, sunscreen on their nose and blue hair. There's kind of um, fringed hair on this one. I tried to make my, uh, my gray streaks in my hair on my self-portrait. This one is uh, Frida Kahlo. I think this is a character from a cartoon or something. I think this is, um, if I remember, this is um, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I love the hair on, on this one down here with this, uh, the person cut spirals out of paper, which looks really neat. This one has really cool earrings on it and uh, a nice tie. I like the three-dimensional collar and this um, three-dimensional three bow. Um, let's see here. So we have um, Tinkerbell, and I thought that the this kind of shows different ways that people um, approach eyes. So these are kind of um, anime eyes, kind of cartoon eyes. These are uh, more realistic eyes with the beautiful facets, and these are also a little bit more realistic. I like the addition of the, um, the eyelashes, and I love the little... Uh, necklace on this one, the little and the V-neck shirt, and this one is really um, complex with the the collar and the tie that turned out fantastic. So um, you can see that there are all sorts of variations and creative things that people came up with when they were doing this project. So as usual, I can't wait to see what you come up with. That's it for this video. Have fun creating your projects.